everyone, it's Liam Carlson here with another episode of The Vampire Diaries. It's episode number 16 of season 4. So quite emotional stuff with the last episode. Um, it was just really heartbreaking dealing with the, uh, I guess, the permanent death of Jeremy. With um, the ring obviously not working anymore, with him being tied to the Hunter's Mark. Um... And, yeah, it was just really, really sad with um, what Elena was going through, what everyone really was going through, because it wasn't just Elena's emotions that we focused on, but there was, you know, focuses on Matt, on Bonnie. Um, so, yeah, it was just really, really depressing, that last episode. Um, so, yeah, as well as the fact that Elena made the decision to turn her humanity off. So that's going to be fun to explore moving forward, especially, like I said, with Catherine being back into the mix. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen from here onwards. So uh, with that said, why don't we get into episode number 16 of The Vampire Diaries Season 4. Let's go. Oh my god, Elena. We're going to lose She's her. Gun. She's just She's done. She's just done. It's only been a couple days. Well, so we're a good time. But I know it's controversial, Stefan, but people actually like to have fun. <laughs> you really think that's gonna work? Definition you of fun can be out. defined in different ways. Are you all right? Oh no. What are you doing? She said she doesn't feel anything, so there's no limits on who she snacks on. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Ah, oh, damn. Don't care, mate. That's no way to treat a lady. Oh, shit. Bloody hell. Cl God damn, Klaus. Sounds like fun. Oh. Oh, my God! Remember when Damon did that shit? It's nothing you guys haven't seen before. Uh, as, uh, wait, Caroline? As the, uh, going to school idea. Bert was one yeah. of my best friends in high school. To see what's happened to her family, it's just... Look, Liz, if there's anything I can do to help, I promise it's I will. good that Liz, good. we're getting a bit of, um... Whoever stole that blood background put a lot there for Liz. in danger. Are gonna kick Grove Hill's ass? Yeah, should be oh fun. God, you guys, I hope I make a bag on the bus. Oh no. Wow, the competition's bigger than last might year. Might make up for go to stretch. cover up the um, piercings that you might have in a moment. I want it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm using it, so go get your own. Compel? Oh no! Hey, you could compel her to. Yeah, damn it. You could have come. I mean, she doesn't care, but I'm just saying you could have compelled her to ask for her ribbon. Find her. Why would I help you? Because I was smart enough to bring a pinch of my brother's blood. How else would you interrogate a vampire who's practically dead from the wolf bite? Carrot on the but, stick. Well, that does explain your charming bravado. Abandonment issues will do it every time. Sounds Boy, like wow! Jeez! I'm the only one that can protect you. I'm happy to do so, provided you cooperate. This took of war that she's just in the middle of at this moment with Catherine on one side, close on the other. Until 1912. The next thing I know, I was killing an entire village. Yep, Am we I supposed saw that. to be scared of becoming you? Yeah, you are. Because I know how deep down you can fall, and I know how difficult it is to climb back out. That's it, though. These are just words. At the end of the day, they carry no meaning for, for Lena. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Elena! Damn, that was just ridiculous. You're forgetting that I had my switch flipped in this town, too. I know where to take someone to have a good time. <laughs> oh! Just to take the edge off. Yeah, just to cool your cooler brakes a bit. Really? Why? I heard your little chat with Stefan. I know Elena's broken the cyborg, so why would you want to find the cure? 
None of your business. You just cure her back to loving your brother. I think you're best off leaving it for me. Uh. Every choice is mine. The canvas, the color. As a child, I had neither a sense of the world nor my place in it, but art taught me that one's vision can be achieved with sheer force of will. The same is true of life, provided one refuses to let anything stand in one's way. So this is your thing? Show a girl a few mediocre paintings, whine about your childhood, and I swoon and <laughs> spill all my dirty secrets. I felt I had many charms of Katarina's special little helpers. Maybe I know one or two. Maybe I'll even tell you. Oh, shit. For one in doubt, uh, manipulate people with sex. That's the same trick Catherine used to pull. Oh, here we go. Oh, We're drawing the similarities. Catherine. She's been running so long, she's afraid of her own shadow. Oh, wow. I have to live with that, but I'm not going to live with the people that you kill or what that'll do to you. Look at her. She's just uh, not her? even fussed. Look at you. Your whole world revolves around me. Maybe you're the one that needs to turn it all off. Jeez. You're trying to keep me from joining the party, so... Brought the party here. Oh, app song, by the way. This is just like a child who is not getting their own way and all of that, and it's going to make life difficult for you. <laughs> no, we deserve a little bit of fun. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, you sacrificed yourself there, Carol. Oh my god. Hey, buddy. I think there's something wrong with me. Oh, yeah, that's. I need help. It's okay. Oh, no. shit! Yeah. So, what's it gonna be? Hello! Going. I think she's stopping the night, bud. Bloody hell. Oh my god. This is gonna have a lot of people just done. If you get what I mean. It's just very intense, very hot. Oh, you guys look good together. I don't mean scared. Just take them out for a spin. I can use it. Ooh. Go punch that. <laughs> oh. Elena. Oh, no. Either you have a drink or I will. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Do you mind? Calm down. Calm down. We're going to have a fight. Skinny little neck. And what makes you exactly not like them? You're a vampire. You take that cure, become human. You become, no, no you, you, you get Nothing. that mediocre husband. Trust me, losing this cure is the best damn thing ever happened to you. Jeez. But that's for her to decide, really. I mean, that's his judgment trying to be placed onto her. But, like I said, that's for her to decide. Into people's business. I don't like this side from Elena. It's hurting. Oh, sheesh. You fight like a girl. I mean, that could be a compliment. Let go of me. I mean, under any other circumstances, this would be a major turn on. Get her out of here. <sighs> she needs to simmer down. So, why would she come back to us? Even when I was at my worst. Elena didn't give up on me. So we can't give up on her. So we can't give up on her. Because otherwise that creates a lot more damage in terms of not wanting to keep your... Not wanting to turn your emotions on. What is that? Hmm. 
my life's many mysteries. Elena, look. Oh. Don't. Oh. Oh. Every time someone starts with Elena, I... Oh, David, don't, 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 don't go down that road. Oh! Kill me. And you won't stop trying to protect me. Yeah. Which means the only way to make sure he's you're He's not coming back for some time. go and never come back. Yeah, he's not coming back for some time. I left Matt the deed to the house. There you go. I had a feeling he'd anymore. leave Matt, Matt the house. I <laughs> I mean, I feel like that was the feeling, wasn't it, when Tyler was going away, that he's not coming back, at least for some time. Running away, little wolf. Wow. Smooth. This. I wouldn't dare. Matters of family are sacred. Oh, no. He's... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to be left in that suspense, but something is, um... Making Klaus's night even better. He's overrated. Uh, so where are we going? Place every newbie vampire should go at least once in their life. New York. Big Apple. City that never sleeps. Literally for the vampires, right? <laughs> Sheesh. I mean, Elena was a bit unhinged in this episode, I would say. Um, I mean, to be fair, I think one would probably expect um elena to carry potentially some could say similar mannerisms to catherine i mean obviously she made that comment but i think that was obviously deliberate to showcase well you are low-key being a, li a little bit like catherine here so um and it was just really really insane um with some of the shit that she pulled um i mean not just from her attitude alone but her beef with uh with um with Car uh, with Caroline was just yeah it was just nuts um so yeah but like i said i felt so bad for caroline in this episode because of the fact that well not just did she um not not just was she under the abuse of of elena but also you got to think about how her how her mother was um at, at peril of course um and now obviously breaking the news about tyler not returning uh anytime soon like i said i mean obviously there is that intent that i'm not coming back for good but um, I, I guess I'm on the boat of never say never, right? It, when it comes to, um, when it comes to this show. So, uh, we'll just have to wait and see what does happen, uh, in the future. But, um, yeah, we'll, yeah. I, all I know is that, um, for Caroline, you just felt so bad for her. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, you know, pretty, pretty neat stuff. Something a bit more low-key this episode. It was, I, I feel like after the whole situation of finding the cure and, of course, mourning for Jeremy in the last episode, I felt like this episode was more so taking a step back. It was more so um, a little bit of a reprieval um, in terms of, even though that things were still happening um, from certain intensities like Klaus and Haley to um, just dealing with Elena's shenanigans, um, it, it, it did feel a li little bit more calmer. Um, so, which is funny, like I said, with Elena and how she was in this episode. Yeah. Um, it was just really unhinged. Um, I mean, I did love the kind of parallel as well when she was, um, naked in front of everyone, um, to, uh, you remember when Damon was, um, a few seasons back. So, yeah, but, um... Yeah, I mean, it was just really, really um, worrying to see where things would go. I mean, she was snacking on people left and uh, left, <clears throat> left and right. There we go. Hydrate. It's a bit hot today. Um, but it's also the factor of Seth and he's trying to he's trying his best to keep an eye on her to make sure that she doesn't go OTT like he did. I mean, he's had experience about obviously his humanity switch being slammed off. Um and 
no matter what, it's a case of Elena trying to get her own way. Um, I make the comparison, it's like a child not getting uh, their own way. They will do anything and everything to make sure that they that that they have that power at the end of the day. Um, but for Elena, I mean, she she's not really giving a shit about the consequences. Uh, she, she will do what she feels like and uh, no one will stop her. No one will ground her whatsoever. Um, no one will strip away this essence of fun from her. So... And, um, yeah, you had, yeah, had, uh, Liz getting compromised from it, so, yeah, but it's also, like, just the idea of, like, well, with what she did to Liz, as well as Caroline a couple of times in this episode, uh, you have, um, the relationship between Elena and, uh, Caroline facing a bit of difficulty with, um, this episode, uh, especially if Elena is just not giving a shit, to be fair, so... Um, but there is this idea of never giving up on Elena. Like she has to fight, she has to have something to fight back from, uh, for all four, should I say, in regards to getting that humanity back? Because um, the alternative is that Elena will keep being pushed away and pushed away, and there's no real incentive to come back to that humanity. So, yeah, but. Um, it, it, it is a bit of a difficult uh, uh, task at the minute, so, yeah. But it is very interesting to see how Stefan um, has been uh, trying to handle things, because Damon was obviously occupied with Rebecca in um, this episode, but, of course, Elena and Damon are going to New York, um, which ties into Will, of course. And, uh, yeah, that was very interesting, because, of course... Um, that whole will dilemma, um, yeah, I mean, it, it was, like, when he rifled around for the uh, pictures and all of that, he, he pulled out that picture of him and Will, um, and that kind of broke my heart because it, it says to me that Will and Damon had a very, very strong uh, friendship, um, and, I mean, I feel like, obviously, things curtailed in terms of the whole plan with in regards to you know getting to Catherine first before Klaus uh, does to her, uh, things curtailed because Damon decided to put him out of his misery rather than uh, grill him for information. So, um, but it was just really sad. I mean, I feel like you can tell with the like change of plans that um, there was a little bit of hurt coming from Damon in regards to the whole will subject. So. Um, yeah, it will be very, very interesting to learn a bit more about that, um, uh, because there's obviously a lot more that is, um, going to be, um, divulged in, in regards to Damon and Will's relationship, but, um, yeah, it is, it, it is, um, just very, very interesting, um, uh, uh, to, you know, to, to see that little bit of vulnerability, I would say. So, yeah, but, um, the other part I really liked about, um, you know, Damon and <clears throat> Damon in this episode, what the hell, was, uh, the aspect of, uh, him confronting Rebecca, because, um, obviously there's been this subject about taking the cure and all of that, um, and, you know, he's speaking to Rebecca about, um, are you sure you really need this cure? I mean, would you love being a human and, you know, adjusting to something that is so weak, so ordinary, so mundane? So, um, I mean, he might have a bit of a point in terms of, like, of course, there is the fragility of human life. Um, but I don't know, maybe if she does become human, hypothetically speaking, um, there might be this kind of embrace that she starts to realize being a vampire, you know what, this is more so of a blessing being able, because, because, yeah, it, it, for different people, it's always subjective when it comes to, like, especially with this, um, factor of being human again, uh, especially for Damon, he's, he's had his two cents about the whole situation, but, um, there's always the situation of, it would be more so of a curse to essentially live forever than get that chance to 
find an ending because um yeah i mean it's it's always very very tragic having that essence of living forever and all that jazz so yeah but we'll just have to wait and see maybe damon will speak some um sound reasoning to rebecca i mean like i said yeah sure it was damon's opinion projecting to to rebecca but and and Rebecca's, you know, you know, she's she's got her own opinion in regards to what she would prefer. But you know, it's always uh, something in regards to leaving some kind of suggestion, like some kind of advice to potentially pick up upon. And and you know, Rebecca might um, hear Damon's words and might have a complete one hundred and eighty on on her stance about being human again. So yeah, you never know. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was the whole Klaus and uh, Haley situation again. Not a situation I was expecting to see develop, but here we are. Um, so yeah, it is. It is just very, very um, you know interesting to see them two just um, gravitate towards each other, especially after the whole situation with with Tyler, of course. Um, but uh yeah i mean obviously she's got those uh like that was explored in the last episode she's got those ties to Catherine. but um it is very very interesting to see uh how um you know things will will go with klaus and, and Haley. i guess so um they've got that common ground against Catherine, and um they've both been shunned in in their own ways by um the people they are sorting after so let's you know just embrace with each other so <laughs> yeah um but of course there is that little mark that Haley does have on the back of her which is you know very peculiar um it's something that does tickle klaus's um intrigue i guess you you saw him like you saw Haley be annoyed you saw klaus be like hmm interesting uh kind of uh so yeah it's it's kind of interesting to see how things might develop between the pair of them but yeah um it's just gonna be very yeah it's just gonna be very very intriguing to see where things will go with with those two. And of course we had the whole blood bank uh, situation. Um, which of course it does make sense for I guess Bonnie. Because um, Silas is only there spiritually. So uh, I guess you could say. I don't I, I don't know. I mean no he's there physically I guess. But um, I mean he could still. Let, uh, 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 well he could still force Bonnie to, to get the blood bags. But I, I imagine he would get them himself. I mean. Um, you know, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, and he's been, uh, he he's just been starving so much. Um, of course, Jeremy's not going to do it, but um, you know, he needs more. He needs more on his plate. So, yeah, but yeah, uh, it was a very, very, um, you know, to pick up from the last episode. Very interesting to see where things go, uh, in terms of Elena's situation, and yeah. Um, obviously there is this whole trip to New York. Maybe that might help Elena out. I doubt it will. Um, but you never know unless you try. So, um, but also I am very intrigued to see further things develop, especially with the mark on Haley's back, especially with, um, Will and Damon's relationship. Um, and more focus on Catherine because, of course, Elena and Catherine have got to meet face to face. Especially with Elena switching off her uh, humanity. Uh, it will truly be a very, very interesting case on. OK, so you say you're not like Catherine. Let's let's see it. Let's see it. So but uh, yeah, very interesting stuff this episode. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I'll see you guys next time. Toodles.